I know I got some cat lovers on here. I know I do. So show of hands down in the comments if you are one of those people who think cows are just some of the cutest creatures on earth because I am one of those people. All right, now that that's out of the way, if you are one of those people, I have a super cute project for you today. This one is really fun and fairly simple and can be completed in just a couple of hours or maybe even less, depending on how quickly you rhinestone. It is this half UV resin and glitter and half rhinestone cow keychain. and I think it is the cutest thing ever. I made it for a friend who actually has some cows and she is getting ready to have baby cows. She just found out. So if you want to see how I created this super cute keychain, go ahead and keep watching. But before we get into it, hi, my name is Ricky. If you've never been here before, I have my own small business called Marley May Customs. And on this channel, we're just going to hang out and do some crafty things and try some cute things together like this super cute keychain. If you want to check me out on other places out here on the internet you can search Marley May Customs on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok or you can check out my website MarleyMayCustoms.com. All right let's go ahead and get into it. For this project, we are going to be using a 2.5 inch cow blank with a bow from Zindi. This is a little bit on the small side, but I actually prefer it for a keychain. The 3 inches just get a little bit bulky. You're going to want to go ahead and remove the protective backing off of one side, leave the other side on there. And then once that's off, go ahead and rough it up just a little bit with some sandpaper or a nail file if you're me. It's been so long since I've used sandpaper that I couldn't even find any, so a nail file worked just fine. Once you file down your blank and wipe it off with a paper towel and some alcohol, you're ready to go ahead and paint. Any teal color will work, or any color really. You can customize it however you want. I just used a teal color from Anita's Craft Paints, I believe it was. I will link everything I used down in the description box below. I did two coats of paint on this. I let the first one dry completely and then went in with the second one. And once that layer was dry, I was ready to go in with the UV resin and the glitter. The glitter I used for this project is the glitter named Tea & Co from Glitter Dip Sips Glitters. And the UV resin I used is just some UV resin from Amazon. I believe the brand is pronounced Kraya maybe. I'm not totally sure, but I will have it linked down below. To start off, I just poured about 10 mils of UV resin into a little medicine cup and then added some glitter. You want this mixture to be really well mixed. You want your glitter to be completely saturated. So if it's a little bit too thick like mine was, go ahead and add more UV resin until everything is thoroughly mixed and it's not too thick that you can't work with it. After I got it to a consistency I liked, it was still a little bit thick and I think it's just because that's how this brand of UV resin is. So I just hit it with my torch for a quick second to get it flowing just a little more nicely. Go ahead and spread that all over your cow blank, making sure to go all the way to the edges. UV resin is somewhat self-leveling and it has a little bit of viscosity to it so it's going to kind of flow like icing on a cookie. You know like the royal icing cookies that look really smooth and nice. It's kind of like that. So the only thing you have to be careful with is to watch out and make sure you don't get uh, any drippage off the sides of your blank. It's not the end of the world. If you do, you can go back and fix it later, but it'll save you a little bit of a headache if you don't get any drippage. So you just have to be really careful with how much you apply and then how much you heat it afterwards. I always like to let my UV resin sit for a little bit. Like I said, it is self-leveling. So if you just let it hang out for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, it will level itself out. And then you can go in with your heat torch. And why do I keep calling it a heat torch? <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it that. Just a torch. Go in with a torch or a heat gun, a kitchen lighter, whatever you got. Just so you can pop those bubbles before you put it under the light. Or else you're going to cure the bubbles and you don't want that. 
So I let this sit underneath my UV lamp for about a minute and a half to two minutes. So I wanted to add a monogram onto this and I used a online monogram maker that was free. I will have it linked down below. It had a option for this super cute heart monogram so I chose that one and I sized it to about one inch by one inch. I originally cut it out at 1.5 inches, I believe, and it was just a little bit too big. So you wanna make sure that it fits inside this narrow cow head. Once the decal was applied, I went ahead and added another layer of UV resin and let that cure for about a minute and a half to two minutes. Once your UV resin side is done, you're ready to move on to the rhinestone portion. So go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Take your protective backing off and rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper or a nail file. And then just wipe it off with a paper towel and some alcohol. For this cow, I wanted to leave the bow teal, so I left that alone and then just painted the rest of the cow face white. I used about two layers of white on this. It doesn't have to be uh, fully opaque because the rhinestones will cover a lot of it. Um, it just depends on what kind of rhinestones you use. Obviously, if you use some transparent rhinestones, then you'll want to make sure that the paint is fully opaque so you don't see any streaks or anything like that underneath your stones. Once the white was completely dry I went in with some black and just randomly added some cow spots. It doesn't have to be perfect because cow prints never are. Just make sure it resembles you know like a cute little dairy cow. Once your spots are painted you're ready to move into the rhinestone portion. The rhinestones I'm using today are from Peaches Crystals. I will have them linked in down below because I'm not sure what these teal ones are. I believe they're aqua, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll have them linked down below. And then I used transparent stones on this. I really wanted to use white stones, but I realized I didn't have ones that were small enough. So I did end up using transparent stones, so as you can see, I made sure that my white background was pretty opaque and perfect. I used 5mm rhinestones on the entirety of this cow. I wanted to do a scatter pattern kind of with 5mm and 10mm stones, but this 2.5 keychain is just a little bit too small to do that. Maybe if it was a 3 inch, I would have been able to do that. But regardless, I love how it turned out. It just wasn't exactly how I planned. So 5 millimeter stones on the whole thing. Um, there's not too much to explain here. Uh, I didn't really use a pattern per se, like a honeycomb pattern or anything like that. I just put the stones wherever they would fit. It's okay if you have a little tiny bit of overlapping, um, like if your black overlaps into your white or whatever, um, that's okay. It'll turn out fine. Um, you just got to trust the process. And then when you're done, you can take a step back and look at it. And I promise you won't be able to tell um, that anything overlapped or that there was any mess ups. So I'm just going to let this play through and let you guys watch it. I didn't film the whole thing because it would have been like hours of footage of me filming the whole thing. And once you see me do the first little bit, it's pretty simple. Just fit those stones wherever you can.
For the keychain hardware, I just used this simple silver lobster claw keychain setup and some jump rings that I got from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. I originally had in my mind like putting some beads or maybe a tassel on this, but once it was finished and I put the beads and the tassels on it, I realized that it would just be overkill. The rhinestones on this are enough. Like it looks so good. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see more keychain videos, rhinestone videos, UV resin videos, let me know what you guys want to see and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.